In Cyberpunk, they make a big deal of Atom Smasher being 96% machine, but that's literally just a full Borg, a full body conversion cyborg in Cyberpunk. They are relatively common, but just how common? I'm gonna answer that in this video. Well, nothing says specifically how common they are, but there are three pieces of information that we can use to kind of make an educated guess. The first is that there are multiple different companies putting out multiple versions of full board. I mean, there's one focused on construction, another that's j just a person, and a firefighter. And this one gives us our second bit of information, that there are firefighters, and it's said that this is pretty common in fire departments. So full Borgs are relatively common just by that. The last bit of information that we have comes from a breakdown of Japan's military. Well, more specifically, just their army. They have 200 combat full Borgs, which could range anywhere between the entirely combat-focused Dragoon to the Special Forces Stealth Eclipse model, but it's a breakdown that says that they essentially have one full body conversion, one full cyborg, similar to Atom Smasher, you know, 96% machine, one of those for every roughly 1,000 regular soldiers. And from what I've seen, that breakdown seems like it would be logical to apply to other militaries and also to corporate military. The fourth corporate war mentions both Arasaka and Militech using full body conversion cyborg. So they're relatively common. And what's pretty funny is this guy is officially a better solo, a better mercenary than Atom Smasher. 